Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Creative Team. So uh, in this super short video I want to say a few words about the latest updates of Argon Dashboard uh, Django version, uh, which provides the premium, uh, the premium version of uh, Argon Design. Now the product uh, is shipped using a new code base structure and design pattern where the uh, design is no longer hard coded inside the product and comes uh, during the installation from an external library. Uh, let's uh, access the product source code, which uh, in this case uh, it's a public one. And uh, if we take a look at the, um, at the installation instruction, we can see that uh, in order to use the private package that basically styles the product, we need to have this GitHub token, which is shipped by us after, um, after the purchase is validated. So, uh, in order to demonstrate how to use the product, once you have this uh, GitHub token, I will use a, a test um, a GitHub token, a temporary GitHub token uh, used for this demonstration. Of course, this will be deleted after the after the, um, uh, the demonstration is is finished. So, um, let's uh, uh, clone the the sources and uh, try to compile and uh, induce the product okay i will go here in a local directory i will clone the source code okay in order to compile the product, I will use the um, uh, VS Code, but feel free to use whatever um, uh, editor you, you, you like, like uh, Atom or other great editors. In my case, uh, VS Code is quite nice and uh, I prefer to use it. Okay, so if we go back to the installation instructions, so the first step is to, of course, to download the code. Uh, the second thing is to um, export a GitHub token in our environment. So, uh, in my case, uh, being um, a PowerShell, I will use this, uh, this instruction, but uh, the readme provides how to export the token using uh, CMD, Windows CMD, or for a Linux or Mac operating system, you need to use this export. So, uh, let's uh, export the GitHub token. I will create a virtual environment next, which is uh, a common step for all uh, Python applications. I will activate the virtual environment and uh, migrate the database. Oh, first I need to install the, sorry, requirements. Once the, um, all the dependencies are installed, uh, we need to migrate the database and uh, the application is uh, it's usable. We can see that uh, the latest version of Django is also used. If we open up the requirements, there is no uh, version locked here. So the, um, the latest stable version of Django for the targeted operating system will be used. So this is uh, super, super nice because using it uh, uh, by using the latest version of Django, we are getting the latest security updates and uh, this is the recommended way uh, for development and also for production. Okay, let's uh, migrate the database. This time should be okay. Let's create also, also super user in order to access the administration uh, administration of the website. Let's uh, OK, 
super cool. All looks good. Let's start application. Okay. Now, this is the UI. Looks super, super nice in my opinion. Now the, um, the pages are filtered because uh, there is no, uh, we are not authenticated right now and we have the possibility to authenticate as a super user and uh, like this we, we can access the admin section reserved for super users or simply create a new ordinary user that will have access to the entire UI. Let's create an ordinary user first. I will type here the password just to avoid typing mismatch. If the user is successfully created, we are automatically redirected to the, to the sign in page. And uh, I will uh, just uh, use the same credentials here. And if we go to the dashboard, we can see that we have more pages here and the menu is no more filtered and uh, the UI is super super nice of course we have all the all the widgets all the components charts and other things maps and uh, basically the same UI that is provided as in H by the HTML version we have all the all the pages here uh, let's uh, sign out and uh, authenticate as a super user it was the admin and I think I was using the same password. Okay. If we go here, we can see that the, um, the UI looks different and the, we can access here the, um, the classic uh, things provided by the um, uh, admin section of, uh, of Django. But this time the UI is no longer that though that uh, default uh, bootstrap styled uh, UI now the, the UI is styled with uh, with Argon design and uh, in my opinion looks uh, looks much better so guys thanks for watching let us know what you think about the product uh, as I said before um, the product is uh, now uses a, a T-Mobile UI where the um, where the design is no longer hard coded inside the product so basically it comes from this uh, from this library and we can check this just by uh, accessing the environment here if we go to the library we can see here a folder admin argon pro and uh, here are all the templates login register and all other pages so basically in the application there is no uh, there is just a custom footer which uh, we can use it to customize the UI and um, let's uh, let's demonstrate also this uh, also this feature so basically the UI now is loaded from uh, from the library and in case we want to just to um, to uh, customize the component in this case we can uh, there is a custom footer um, element and uh, let's imagine that we we just want to to update the footer. Let me sign out from from this uh, from this view. And uh, if we go here to the dashboard, we can see that uh, this this default uh, this default footer. And uh, by changing the um, custom footer to footer. Basically, the application now uses the, the custom footer and the, the default uh, footer provided in the library is no longer used because um, your company here and those are some links. If we put here, let's say uh, Google. Okay. can see here the link is changed and now points to Google so the customization uh, can be done without much effort and uh, all documentation provides provides the steps necessary steps to customize uh, any other component there's a um, there's a dedicated section here on the readme and also if something is missing feel free to chat with us on uh, on support so guys thanks for watching Adrian here from uh, Creative Team. 
we will get back with more videos that explain how to use the product and uh, it, in all cases in, if something is missing just uh, send us an email thanks for watching uh, see you on the next uh, material bye